Hello friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Carol and the name of my channel is My Blessed Nest. And today I have a treat for you. I am participating in Sunday Fun Day with Janie and Diane at Deco Easy as well as Yvonne from Ginger Chick Rehab. I'll be sure to list their channels below in my description box as well as a playlist so you can check out everybody else's Sunday Fun Day. Now what I decided to show you for Sunday Fun Day is I'm going to go thrifting for my own Christmas presents from my husband. So come along and I'll show you some scenes from my thrifting and then join me back here and I'll show you what I got for Christmas. Let's get started.
So I found my thrifted presents at different shops. The first place I went to, I found one item and it was a tiny little shop that I love to go to. They have some really unique items and their prices are amazing. I had just decided I wanted to look for some more pink bottle brush trees. I found one in Amish country and I have it on top of an old pickup truck. Well, it's not an old pickup truck, but I have it on top of a red pickup truck that looks old. But look what I found. This is rather large and the price on it was $2. So I found that and I'm glad to add that to my Christmas collection. It's gonna need a little fluffing right here, but I can even put that in the back if I can't fluff. <laughs> Next, I found some items at the Goodwill, and this is a kind of a funny story. I found these two little mugs, and I thought they were just darling, and I'm gonna be using them on my Winter Wonderland tiered tray, which is gonna be my collab, and I hope you can join me. It's January 6th at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that's a Wednesday. And you can just decorate your tray for winter and show us the results, and there will be all the details on my community tab. So anyways, I found these two mugs and on the bottom they each said 219. But what I didn't notice is one said two of three and one said three of three, but there was no one of three. So long story short, I got both of these for 99 cents. I'm not sure how that happened, but uh, the manager was called and they tried to figure out what to do because the barcode was on one of three. So I'm very happy to have these for my winter tiered tray for 50 cents a piece. The next item I found did not have a price on and I decided to ask for one. This is an adorable snow globe that's made to look like a lantern. And it plays music. I'll just play a little bit. And then it also has glittery snow. And there's a little house and a couple pine trees and I think it's just darling. So they gave me a price of $3.29, which I thought was a bargain. This next item is a goodie bag and you know how I love goodie bags. So let's see what's inside. First of all, the price was $2.19 and the reason why I wanted this goodie bag was for the bottle brush trees. But I also got these little houses. I think they're kind of cute and I might actually keep them. I'll show you them. There's maybe five of them. There's two. This is my favorite, the church. And there's something inside of this one. It's driving me nuts. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but there's holes on the back. You can let me know if you've ever seen anything like this. I wonder if that was to put a light. And here's the last one. So uh, there's no markings on it whatsoever, and I have no idea anything about it. So there's always somebody out there that knows something that can share. Now these are the bottle brush, yeah, bottle brush trees that I got. So I love them, and I use them all over in my decor. And then the rest of the bag was these little light reflectors which I didn't know what they were. My friend Melody from PA, who you see on my channel commenting all the time, she told me. So here's a little close-up of a couple of those. They're all different colors. There's pink, red, green, blue. So there's those, and then there's also a few of the light bulbs. So that was that, and then Next, we're gonna go to Salvation Army. I found this and I fell in love. Look how sweet she is. She's for September, but I don't care. I'm gonna use her for Christmas. I thought she was a little high priced because I don't know if you can tell, but she's kind of banged up and chipped up, which I think just adds to the character and I love, but she was $3.99. So I thought, well, this is a Christmas gift so I can splurge, right? <laughs> So my husband put her in my stocking. And when I checked out, I said, is there any discount for Christmas? And the clerk that was checking me out said, yeah, 50% off. And I said, oh, good, because I got this angel. And he said, nope, that's not Christmas. <laughs> so $3.99 was what she was. And then I'm gonna throw this item in 
just because I don't want to forget to show you in another haul. It's not for me for Christmas, but I got it for my granddaughter for her birthday. Look how cute. It's a little purse. Doesn't look like it's ever been used and it says just for fun on the tag. And then the price tag was $1.99. And that was from Salvation Army as well. So I am so excited for that and I think she will just love it. All right, now we're moving to the antique store. And this is where I first found some of my gifts and some of the more exciting ones to me. Well, it's all exciting, but the, I guess you would say my favorites. And I don't remember some of the prices because it was a little while ago and I've thrifted a lot since then. Unfortunately, the antique store takes the stickers off or the tags. Look at this, you guys. A Baby Ben. I see he's got a glare. There we go. Baby Ben clock in super good condition and I think he was $8, I'm gonna guess. So I'm super excited to add that to my clock collection. If you haven't seen my clock collection and you're interested, I'll link it either above or in the description box, or both. And this next item is for my grandkids' bedroom when they stay with us. I have it decorated in Mickey Mouse or Disney themed, I would say. And it plays, it's a small world. I have to turn it on though. <laughs> Look at the hands going around. This was $8, which I thought was a little bit of a splurge, but honestly, I've never seen it anywhere before and I think it's just darling. So that was for the boys' room. I call it the boys' room, but now we have a granddaughter, so I should call it the grandkids' room. And then while we're on the Disney theme, I also found this at the antique store. I cannot remember for the life of me how much he was and I honestly don't remember picking him out. <laughs> I asked my husband if he found it and he said no. <laughs> so I would guess maybe five or six dollars. Did you have Gumby when you were little? I did and I really went back in time when I found this. This was eight dollars and it's an original Gumby as far as I know. I don't really know how to tell, but I love him. Everything else, well, let me show you this and get it out of the way. This was in my stocking. This was from the Dollar Tree, not thrifted, but I thought I would throw it in to show you. I got these for crafting. They're little tiny clamps and they're my favorite color, pink. Now, everything else is for my Fisher Price dollhouse. If you didn't see when I thrifted that, I will link it as well so you can see that video. It was mine when I was a child. This toy was, not this one. And I've been looking for it at a good price for a long time. And I found it at the bins. So, oops, speaking of the bins, I forgot. I did find these two items as well at the bins. They're the green handled cookie cutters or maybe they're Biscuit, maybe this one's a biscuit maker. You can let me know what you think in the description box. But those were by the pound, so they were probably just pennies. Okay, and now everything else I have to show you is for my Fisher, Fisher Price dollhouse. I found the mom, or maybe she's the grandma, and I think that was $3. The little boy, and he was $3 as well. They're still in the plastic bags. I'm going to wash all this stuff before I use it. And then this is really hard to find. It's a, a little twin bed and a couch. See where they have the holes where you can set the people in. And the original beds had like this foam on them. I think it was blue foam, but I'll be doing something to give that a little makeover. And my favorite item. Oh my gosh, this, this just brings back so many memories. This is a little picnic table, and there's four green chairs, and then there's two lounge chairs, and a grill. So I'll set that all up by the house, and I can show you what it looks like. But this was a splurge. This was $18, you guys. So I figured, hey, it's Christmas, and this is something I really want to recreate my childhood dollhouse. So I got it. Now I have a little funny story for you. When I opened my stocking, this little chair 
and this little dad was in it and I asked my husband where did you get these because I already had it and he said well I don't know I just picked up everything there maybe I got some stuff I shouldn't have <laughs> so this is not a Christmas present and then he goes there might be more and then I found these in my stocking as well um, I don't think I showed you these in a haul but I got these for five dollars each or five dollars for both of them maybe I did now I kind of wish I wouldn't have bought them because this came with the green ones but anyways I have four lounge chairs <laughs> and then he also put this in one of my presents which came with the house when I thrifted it at the bins so I thought that was pretty funny so this week I picked one of my subscribers or viewers and well I know she's a subscriber and you have a little emblem I think only I can see it and it says top commenter when you have a YouTube channel and so the one I picked out of my top commenters to spotlight today was Larry Debbie and her name is Debbie and um, she has been a wonderful supporter of my channel and she sent me a fabulous friend mail which I will also link in my description box so you can watch that if you missed it and she's just been so supportive and such a good friend and I also follow her on Instagram and I get to see a little glimpse of her life too so thank you Debbie I appreciate you so much and I just wanted to give you your little day in the spotlight don't forget when I showed you my mugs I mentioned my winter wonderland collab tiered tray collab coming up so just to review it's January 6th at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time that's a Wednesday and don't forget to check out my community tab for all of the details. I hope you enjoyed this. It was sure fun showing you what a thrifter gets for Christmas. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll link it below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.